Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, you might say that these were pretty simple numbers. So you just took examples of numbers like 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 3. So they were easy. So how do we represent complicated rational numbers like 25 by 17, 31 by 100 or minus 675 by 4000? How do we I mean, represent these numbers on the number lines because these numbers are like huge numbers so if it is 25 by 17 i have to divide it into 17 equal parts how do i go about it so let us try to understand more about the rational numbers so that we are able to locate them easily on the number line so even before we talk about the number line let us first try to locate the rational numbers let us first try to understand where are they located for example when i took examples of 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 we knew that these numbers lie between 0 and 1 but let us say if i give you a ratio where the number lies between uh, 10000 and 10001 so in that case it is not feasible to start making you know uh, separation from 0 to 10,000 that is not feasible so we first first of all we should have some idea about where that rational number is located between which numbers between which integers those rational numbers are located so first we will understand how do we locate rational numbers Now, when you look at this number line in detail, you would see that between any two integers, there exist countless rational numbers. So that's surprising, right? That there exists countless rational numbers between any two rational numbers. So not only the integers, like it is not only that between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2, you have infinite rational numbers. Between any two rational numbers, you can have infinite number of rational numbers. Quite surprising, I agree, but let us try to see if that's really true or not. So let us try to find out rational numbers that exist between rational numbers. Let's say how many rational numbers would exist between 0 and 1. Let us try to find out. So let us think in these lines. Now already in one of the previous slides, we saw that between 0 and 1, you would have 1 by 2 between 0 and 1 by 2 you would have something like 1 by 4 you would also have something like 1 by 3 so 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 these are certain rational numbers which exist between 0 and 1 in fact we saw it in one of the previous slides right but do you think that these are the only rational numbers existing between 0 and 1 no that's not the case let's see now 1 by 2, I can very well write 1 by 2 as 10 by 20 because 10 by 20 would actually mean 1 by 2, right? Now when I write 10 by 20 as 1 by 2, what about these numbers like 11 by 20, 12 by 20, 13 by 20, 14 by 20? So what happens to these numbers? Where are they located? So from 10 by 20 to say 20 by 20 because by the time you reach like this 18 by 20 then you will have 19 by 20 then you have 20 by 20. So 20 by 20 is actually 1. So this is 1 and these numbers they all lie between 1 by 2 and 1. That means in this portion you have all these numbers 11 by 20, 12 by 20, 13 by 20, 14 by 20. So how many do you have here? So we already got some 9 rational numbers here. So there are some 9 rational numbers between 1 by 2 and 1. Okay, once again, the same 1 by 2 can also be written as 4 by 8. Again, they mean the same thing, right? So now when I say that, that means what about these numbers 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8, 8 by 8. So 8 by 8 is again 1. So this one is 1. That means again between 1 by 2 and 1 you have all these numbers 5 by 8, 6 by 8, 7 by 8. So again in the same place. So they are how many? So here you get 3 more rational numbers. Again the same 1 by 2 can be written as 100 by 200. And here we can start from 101 by 200, 
hundred two by two hundred hundred three by two hundred and so on till you reach one ninety eight by two hundred one ninety nine by two hundred and finally two hundred by two hundred so this two hundred by two hundred is one so here how many numbers do you have you have almost ninety nine rational numbers here in this case so how many rational numbers we actually found out right now 9 plus 3 plus 99 these are all numbers between 1 by 2 and 1 and this is not all there are even more number of ways by which you can write 1 by 2 for example 1 by 2 can also be written as 6 by 12 1 by 2 can also be written as 7 by 14 so there are plenty of ways by which you can write 1 by 2. We can also write 1 by 2 as 10,000 divided by 20,000. So basically if you keep writing it in more number of ways, you will get more and more rational numbers that would exist between 1 by 2 and 1. So when we say between 0 and 1, you actually have infinite number of rational numbers. Right? So this very clearly proves that there exists infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Because the beauty of rational number is that it is the ratio of two numbers. So it can be represented in a plenty of ways. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.